so this is our super quick guide to visiting Iguazu Falls, Argentina with kids. Yes, it is totally doable with kids. Yes, it is buggy friendly, well most trails are anyway. Yes, there are toilets, but only at the beginning and at the end of the trails. There are some baby changing facilities and there are plenty of restaurants to get food and water. But do bring your own water and snacks because we all know that kids need this to keep them going and there is a lot of walking to be done. Do bring your buggy, but only if you really have to because it gets really, really crowded and navigating with your buggy can be a little bit difficult. So if you can manage a baby carrier, I would definitely go for that instead. Also, make sure you get a map at the start so you can plan your route and give yourself ample time to enjoy the day. There is loads of place to run around and there is some wildlife to spot as well. So all in all, it's definitely a good family day out. Doesn't matter how old the children are, if they're under six, they get in for free. If they're between six and 12, it's 150 pesos. And above 12 is the same as adults, which is 600 pesos for foreigners. We're staying at a hotel called Tango Inn, and we're not too sure really how to get there. You could get a taxi, um, but the receptionist said that if you go outside, you can get a bus. So we're literally, we spoke to one guy at the bus stop on that side. He said that, come on this side, and we can catch a bus. So we're literally on the road. But wow. we're going to document all this and show you how to do this, okay? So apparently it's just 90, 90 pesos one way for an adult and it's just like a 10 minute journey from um, our hotel which is Tangle Inn for 700 pesos in a taxi. So we obviously have to Yeah, I think that, um, getting the bus obviously would be, would be a bit longer but a lot cheaper and um, it comes in like a few minutes as well so that's quite convenient. Uh, the bus is stopping now, this is great news. Alright, All right, so here we go, we're getting on the bus now, looks like we're going in. Here you go, here you go. Hola. Thank you. Uh, yes, please, look. So we're paying for the bus now. I see ya. Hold on, guys. It's quite, it's quite a busy bus as you can see right now. There's a lot of people on here. Uh, we've got <laughs> the bus just stopped, which is great news. Uh, we've got a lovely. I'm not sure how long the journey would be. I think it's about 20 minutes. So it's not far away. So hopefully. We'll be there soon, but so far so good. The bus came in about two minutes. I think the bus is quite regular, it's every 20 minutes, right? Yeah, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Gracias. Thank you. Wow. Well that couldn't have gone any easier at all. We are literally here in about 10 minutes. Um, I think because we were the last one that was picked up on the road, we could have been the last hotel. So if you want a quick drive into um, Iguazu, then stay at the Tango Inn. We have no affiliation with them. Breakfast was all right, the beds were okay. Um, Dos adultos. For person. Two adults. Where are you from? England. Sorry? Inglaterra. Gracias. Adios. All right. So six hundred for a uh, international adult, and cheaper if you're from Brazil, Uruguay, Argentina, Paraguay. And there's our ticket, and we're ready to go. Let's do this. It's one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Okay, let's try again. Even kids under six, although they don't have to pay, you have to get a ticket for them. So it says zero on it, but you need a ticket to actually enter the park. So don't make that mistake.
we didn't bring our buggy, but you can hire buggies here. Right now we are on the green trail which takes 15 minutes and we're walking to the station which will then take us onto a bus or a train, must be a bus, that takes you onto the orange trail all the way to Devilsbury but it does it in 15 minutes, otherwise it takes two and a half hours if you want to walk um, to Devilsbury which I'm sure would be really nice too. And we had a ticket saying B17, obviously. The train that was there was B11, so it would be quite a long way. Obviously, it's 10 minutes there and 10 minutes back, so we could have been waiting for up to like two hours to get a train. Um, it's probably better just to walk it, which is about a two hour walk. If you want to get on the train to, to kind of make your life easier, it, it's going to be a bit of a wait, unless you come really early. Okay, so we're taking the trail to the Superior, the Superior Waterfalls which is um, not as big as a massive devil's throat one obviously but it's supposed to be nice okay so we're coming to the end of the superior circuit now to salto san martin which is a viewpoint right at the Edge, so we should get a lovely view of the falls from here. Now that is a cool view of the waterfalls. Doesn't it look amazing? So it's been an hour since we were last at the station. We decided to do the Superior Trail in the meantime, and it's still only at B15. So I just walked for a couple more minutes and I can just get my first glimpse of it now. Oh my goodness, that is immense.
20 minutes um, to get off the train station. Um, it's still so rampant, it's so, so busy. Um, and everyone is trying to get everyone out of the way so they can get a good photo, but it was amazing. Like, I've seen Niagara Falls too, and um, I don't know, it was a long time ago, so it's difficult for me to say which one was better, because Niagara is pretty immense too, but it was epic. Absolutely epic. Argentinian side, it was, it was. Um, it has to be. So I'm back from seeing um, Iguazu Falls, the, um, the main event, and it was, it really was the main event, it was amazing. I'm a bit over the queuing, queuing to get a ticket for that end, queuing to get a ticket for this end, queuing for the toilet, queuing, queuing, queuing. Alongside us, I'll be walking to do the two hour walk. So now I need to walk um, about well, exactly 655 meters to get to the exit. I lie, 900 meters. A good tip to remember as well is that if you didn't get to see everything you wanted to do, make sure you get your ticket validated at the entrance and you'll get a discount if you want to come back the next day. Otherwise, it's full fair again. And again, it couldn't be easier. We've got a, a ticket from the office to get on the bus, which cost again 85 pesos. Um, and we're on the bus now, and the guy's just jumped on to take us. So it seems the transportation to and from Iguazu Falls in Argentina is very easy. Um, it's been so great so far. So, and that's the bus ticket.